Ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens of planet Earth, please rise to show your respect for authority, order, and planet now. Put your right hand to your heart, close your eyes, and think of something you are grateful for. Thank you for your cooperation. You may now be seated once more. Please give a warm and welcoming applause to Jordi Mullering. Dear fellow citizens of planet Earth, dear subordinates, I see you, each and every one of you. <clears throat> I see those of you who are confused, those of you who are anxious to hear what I have to say, and also those of you who did not stand up, who did not close their eyes a moment ago, although they were specifically instructed to do so. And for this, I forgive you. For now is the time of forgiveness. A time of exception. These are, after all, exceptional times. Unprecedented times. No time in the history of mankind has ever been preceding these times. And therefore, dear co-inhabitants of this beautiful planet, today it is my duty to inform you, to advise you, and to instruct you. I will begin with the first instruction. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Let it go. Breathe out. Hold for five minutes. <laughs> no, breathe. <laughs> breathe, please, breathe. I would never ask you to hold your breath for five minutes. You would die. You would not survive. Where would I be without you? And where would you be without me? This brings me to my first point. Common sense. <clears throat> Whatever you do, use your common sense. Um, uh, keep some savings. Don't spend all of your money. Be nice to your neighbors and they will be nice to you. It is safer under your desk than to be seated at your desk. Uh, it is safer to stay inside than to go out. It is a good thing to follow my instructions at all times, especially in these times, these Times. There are some of you who doubt my authority and my capacities. For those of you who do, please check this out. I am still here, but you cannot see me. I am invisible. It is up to you now. Go out and do what is best for the world in these strange and unprecedented times. Do as you are told, for all of us. Take back what is yours. Me and the rest of the world are counting. Thank you for watching this extra broadcast. We have break.
breaking news for you today. Jordi Mulling was cut off in the middle of a speech after we heard a disturbing sound. I repeat, Jordi Mulling in the middle of a speech was cut off after we heard a disturbing sound. So, we will get back to you on that, but first let's analyze that speech. Melissa, can you... Hi, Peter. Yes, I was just asking you if you could hear me, Melissa. I hear Welcome. you, Peter, loud and clear. Let's analyze that speech. Uh, what do you think the effect will be, if any, and do you think that Mullering reached that effect with this speech? So, I think Jordi Mullering made it very clear that the situation we are experiencing right now is unprecedented. It's something that has never happened before, and I think it would be safe to say that it is happening to all of us, and it's unique. And by that, I mean it's the first time it's happening. It's really something new that's facing us, something that hasn't occurred in the past, which makes it extraordinarily uncommon, unparalleled, unmatched, and also unusual. And when I say unusual, what I'm really trying to say is that it's out of the ordinary or unprecedented. So, Melissa, what you are saying is that Jordi Mullering emphasized the fact that we are in an exceptional, exceptional situation. Is that correct? Absolutely, Peter. I think Jordi Mullering was very clear about the fact that we are in a situation that is exceptional. I think he even called it unprecedented. He did, Melissa. He did call it unprecedented. Exactly. So, he didn't say the times we live in are abnormal, but we can surely say that these times are at least atypical, uh, unlike periods in the past where we would just say, hey, these times we live in are common, right? Normal. Um, very ordinary. Right now we're living in uncommon times. Uh, Mullering went as far as to say that these are strange times. And then he also called them unprecedented as well. And he clarified that by saying that um, there has never been a time uh, that has preceded these uh, times. So, yeah, maybe, maybe this means all times are unprecedented. Don't you think? Since there can never be a time like now because before now <clears throat> is a time like now because before now is history and there can never be a time that is not unprecedented because now only exists now but just after I say now it now is not now anymore and um, the future is uncertain or is it? I mean we just saw it becoming past so it, it, is time even linear? If we take a, a slice out of space-time and let an alien ride a bicycle, then, then if he moves that way, then we're in the past, and if he moves the other way, we're in the future, maybe, or maybe in the now, I don't know, so... <laughs> and these things are hard, aren't easy, so... Thank you for that analysis, Melissa. Now let's... You're welcome. Yes. Now, let's go to the part of the speech again, where Jordi Mullering said that the times we are living in are exceptional, unprecedented, maybe even unequal. These are, after all, exceptional times, unprecedented times. Joining us now through a live connection is Ron Schneider, a self-proclaimed authority on, quote, nearly everything, unquote. Ron, good to have you. It's good to be here. Nice bookshelf. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. So, what do you make of everything that is happening? I think that... After Mullering made it clear that the times we live in are unequaled, we as an audience were mesmerized by that disturbing sound. Everybody wanted to know what was going on. And, and instead of, of knowing what's going on, you appear on the screen and then you ask Melissa to analyze what's happening. And this not knowing has an almost gravitational pull on us as an audience. Yeah, we're sucked into this black hole of this mystery over the event horizon of this online uh, performance. And let me ask you this, Peter. Well, normally it's me asking the questions, Rob, but go ahead. <laughs> let me ask you this. Why are you and Jordi Mullering so alike? That certainly is a very interesting question. Hmm? It is, Peter. It, it absolutely is. But what makes it even more interesting is that we don't get an answer to that. And that is the art of true magic. 
never reveal the trick and uh, I think I really have to compliment you on that Peter. Thank you. Thank you Ron, I appreciate that. And here is a moment where you, and I don't mean you Peter, I mean you, you are watching us because <laughs> I know you are watching us and you're a voyeur. Oh, no, 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 wait, you think you're a voyeur but you're not because I can see you. And, and, and Peter can see you. That is correct, Ron. So, where are you going with all this? What are you trying to tell us? There is going to be another disturbing sound. There it is. There it was indeed. How do you know these things, Ron? Well, Peter, let's just say I know a lot of things about a lot of things. And that's what makes this whole thing so damn ambivalent because you. <laughs> what's real and what's not, right? Melissa was about to enter a yoga class when she heard this disturbing sound and she decided to go towards uh, the sound. Melissa, uh, what is going on there? Thank you, Peter. Melissa, this is Ron. Peter is gone. Oh, thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Tell us what's going on, Melissa. Yeah, so I was about to go to my yoga class when I heard a disturbing sound. I decided to go towards the sound and I think it came from here. Um, so we're gonna have a look, but what I can tell you is this. It is all very strange. Let's have a look. Wat is hier gebeurd? Er is hier iets vreselijks gebeurd. Maar wie heeft er belang bij om iets vreselijks te doen plaatsvinden? En waarom heeft diegene hier belang bij? Heeft diegene hier überhaupt wel belang bij? Is tijd relatief? Wie is de man in het kikkerpak? Ik weet het niet. Wat ik wel weet is dat Jordi Mullering dood is. Jordi Mullering was eigenwijs. Zijn levensmotto was: ieder huisje heeft zijn kruisje. Een van zijn zwakkere punten was om er een einde aan te breien. Mullering is niet oud geworden. Zijn cv is niet zo om van op te kijken als dat van anderen. Desalniettemin zal hij gemist worden. We kunnen ons troosten met de gedachte dat hij in ons allen voortleeft. Hij zal in ieder geval in mij voortleven.